Hello and welcome to another Mixology Monday. I'm Robbie. We have a special guest today, Teresa with Sipology. Teresa, Hi. thanks for joining us today. Oh, I'm so glad to be here. Yeah. So Sipology is a company where we sell loose leaf tea, all mm -hmm. natural products, and we get to steep it in all kinds of fun things, Robbie. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about today's <laughs> drink. So Me too. if we if we enjoy this product, where do we get it? You can buy it online at sipology.com slash the teas. T-E-A-S. Leave off the last E. Nice. And we'll leave that link in the description so you guys can check out these amazing teas. So uh, what are we making today? Today we are going to make a pina colada sangria. Cool, cool. Super easy. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. So it looks like you've done some of the work already. What What is in this crazy science beaker here? <laughs> this crazy science beaker is a tea canter. So you can decant tea, mm -hmm. you can decant wine. And it's got some holes in there, so that oh, way yeah. it will strain the tea. So we use our Hawaiian pineapple sangria tea, fruit tea, and all I did was steep it in a bottle of white, sweet white wine, a Riesling or a Moscato. Smells amazing, <laughs> looks amazing. There's some real stuff there, that's no all joke. Real, it's all real fruit. I cool. put it in and I left it overnight, and this is what we've got. Nice, okay, so it's, we've got wine, we've yep. got tea, what's left? Some coconut rum, Robbie. All right, all right. So we're so, gonna need coconut rum. We're doing two ounces of that. We are gonna do two ounces of coconut rum in a full bottle of wine. I mean, two ounces ish, I guess. I'm filling it to the brimstone. So. Oh. There goes the ish right over the side. <laughs> Here, one more. Two ounces of rum per one bottle of wine, right? Yes, a 750 milliliter bottle. 750. Yeah, because yeah. I usually drink the big ones. Gotcha. <laughs> we'll just kind of swirl it around a little bit. It's that easy to make sangria. So we're done. Sangria. We're done. Well, yeah. we have to pour it. Go for it. So the strainer helps you steeping the tea and it also helps you strain the tea as it goes into the glass. That's right. And we decided to do this in a hurricane glass just because I don't it's know. It's sangria. It's sangria and it made sense. It's a rum sangria, so. That's right. It looks phenomenal. So there are some really great fruit pieces in here. There's pineapple, there's some mango pieces, there's some candula petals. It's getting a little clogged in there. So that's all right. There we go. So there we go. Cool. All right. Well, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. The recipe and everything you need to know about making this drink will be in the description below. Don't forget we do tours of our facility and you can find our products in your local liquor store. Thank you so much for watching. Teresa, cheers. Thanks, Thank you Robbie. so much. What a jerk. You want someone behind the camera, but then you have someone behind the camera and it makes it just more annoying. Because <laughs> you just. You want to insult them every time you look at them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>